Take a look at all the vast popularity flying discs have enjoyed one of the true sports with universal appeal. Coming up, the accuracy toss is the women's final. Shows top two accuracy competitors throwing it from different angles and different distances. Amy Beckin, you met her in the long toss, and Chris O'Cleary is the world record holder in that long toss. She's now hitting from the right side. They throw four discs from each of seven positions. Chris O'Cleary at 26 years of age is a relative newcomer. She missed that one. This is her first position she's throwing from. And three out of four go in. So she's three out of four for her first of seven spots. A possible 28 is a perfect score. Take a look at the different angles and positions. 13 and a half meters is the closest you get to the target. And 31.5 meters is about as far away as you can make the target with any sense of accuracy. Amy Beckin, the all-around champion last year. She's at 26 years of age, a saleswoman. Uh, she is throwing from her second spot right now. She missed all four from her first position, and she'll miss that last one. So her score after eight tosses is two in. She doesn't seem very happy about that. Chris O'Cleary throwing and missing from almost the same position. See those cones by her feet? A nice angle. She's throwing right-handed. That bounce is good. And that one misses. So she'll be six for 12 at this point. They alternate. Uh, one athlete takes four shots, the other one takes eight, and then they go eight and eight back and forth. Here's a little wrist flick for Amy Beckin. They can choose which order to shoot from which position. So there's some strategy, I guess, involved, trying to build up a, a big lead or maybe saving your easy ones for last. Amy's not being very successful at this position. Last one goes in. It's the net, so she'll be three for 12. So she moves in one zone, takes her next four tosses from 13 and a half meters. The target is one and a half meters on each side. It's a square target, just over the top. Amy, the 1990 Japan Open champion in Frisbee golf, the 1990 Wintertime Open overall champion. So her score, five out of 16. So it looks like Chris O'Cleary is developing quite a substantial advantage. A great deliberate windup. That one, of course, went way wide. She's throwing from the greatest distance. This is the position that has the least likelihood of scoring. She gets one in. Two of them go. And it goes wide. So the scorekeepers record eight out of 16 for Chris O'Cleary. Batting 500, the record in this event is 23 out of 28. I don't think we'll see that today. Yep. Amy from the mid position straight on gets the first one good. Yep. Goes wide. Yep. Drops in. And that one will certainly go wide. So Amy Beckin, playing since 1982. Her score at this point is 7 out of 20. She's got two more positions to throw from. And this is the mid spot. First two are good. She was the 1989 U.S. Open overall champion. That's last year at this event in both golf and discathlon. Nice straight shot. Gets her score now up to 10 out of 24. Chris O'Cleary currently 11 out of 24. She's got four more tosses from the easiest of positions. Almost missed that one, but she's going to get a perfect score from the last position, 15 out of 28. That's mathematically more than Amy Beckin can possibly get. 
So she will win 15 to 12 for Chris O'Cleary, the captain of Atlanta's Flying Disc Club Ozone. In the men's competition, it's Leonard Muse with Stefan Carlson from across the Atlantic. So in the open accuracy final, that 12 shot goes in for Stefan Carlson. So Stefan is making it look easy from the near target on the right side. And in fact, he gets 100% from the near side. 15 out of 20 is the score at this point in the competition. And a new, a long straight shot, goes a little bit wide. Leonard is a graphic designer from Berkeley, California. He represents the Northern California Flying Disc Group. You can see him sort of overthinking that last toss, trying to get a grip on it once again. Too much, too much thinking. Leonard is one of the more accurate throwers in the sport. Just not today. 15 to 7. Carlson is leading the substantial margin right now. And the near shot. This should be relatively straightforward. So is it the straightaway angle in the mid position? This is Leonard's 10th year in uh, professional competition, and he doesn't seem pleased with that at all. It's very un unusual for him to miss at this distance. It's certainly on a straightaway shot. That last one goes in for a score 10 out of 24. He's got four more tosses at the target. But in the meantime, he's going to turn it over to Stefan Carlson. Stefan, at 24 years of age, has been playing for the entire decade of the 80s. He's a computer operator in Linköping, Sweden. He's traveled quite a ways to be here. Unlucky bounce. And the last shot goes in. So 16 out of 24 with four tosses remaining. Stefan is virtually guaranteed the win here. And as he sets up at his final distance, close but not quite. The disc must travel through the plane of that square target. Bouncing off the edges doesn't count, but missing the target completely doesn't help either. 16 out of 28 is a final score for Stefan Carlson. Smiling because obviously he's disappointed with that last position, but still, 16 out of, out of 28 will be more than enough to win. In the near shot straight ahead, Leonard's trying the backhand flip, or the, the wrist flip. Almost missed the easy shot there. 100% for Leonard on the last position. Moves him 14 out of 28. I guess there's nothing to do but laugh about it after batting 50%. Annie Kreml is our current leader in the overall competition. In the men's action, let's take a look at John Friedman currently leading, and Leonard Muse is in fifth place on the basis of that last event.